In this module, we'll show you how to clean or replace a clogged injector or screen. Symptoms are overfill of water in a brine tank, no soft water, or salty service water. If we believe there are injection problems with an Autotrol 255, we begin by checking to make sure that all connections are airtight. If all connections are tight, we then move to depressurize the system. Please reference our other videos regarding these topics. Once the unit is depressurized, we can move over to the screen on the unit. This is located directly above the red handle. We use a Torx T50 tool to remove this. We want to inspect the screen to make sure that there is no damage to it. If it is damaged, it needs to be replaced. If there is a buildup of dirt or debris, we can clean it using a soft brush and warm water. If necessary, you can remove it from the end to clean the inside. Directly opposite the screen is the injector. We remove the cap using the same tool. Inside the housing, the injector is held in by two O-rings. We pull straight forward in order to remove the injector. Once removed, we check the O-rings to make sure that they are not damaged. We then check the orifices at either end as well as in the center to make sure they are not clogged with debris. We can clean both ends and the center with a soft brush and warm water. If you cannot clear the clog, you will need to replace the injector. Darker primary colors are used for 400 series controllers. Logix controllers use the lighter pastel colors. You need to make sure to use the same color injector as your system originally had to make sure it operates properly for your pressure. The next thing we can do is move to the refill control. The refill control has a double O-ring seal. Inside the opening, there is a check ball. It should not have any scoring and should be pliable in order to seal properly. If it shows any scoring or damage, it should be replaced. The check ball seats on the white openings. Based on the width of the opening, it allows a different amount of water to flow through to the brine tank. This is set by the white dial on the outside. Your system has been designed for the setting it is at, so we do not recommend any adjustment on here. Once we have inspected all of the openings to make sure there is no debris, we can then begin reassembly. We begin the reassembly by bringing in silicone seal to all of the O-rings. We can then move to the injector, lubricating both O-rings. We then add the cap for the injector. We move to the other side to reinstall our screen assembly. We then lubricate the O-ring on our screen assembly. Once we have everything secure, we can then repressurize our system and check our progress. Good luck and thanks for watching.